This is about your channel, how it makes you feel, what you think, your ability to move forward and do the thing that has to be done. I mean, if you want one of these, a YouTube silver play button, then you're gonna have to move forward and upload on a regular basis. And yet sometimes it makes you feel like hopeless, like it's just not possible. I polled my audience not too long ago. Do you feel like YouTube success is a mystery and you'll never figure out how to make it happen? And the sad reality is 55% said yes. Fact is, I chose this milestone. You see, I set my sights on this to help a thousand individuals get a YouTube silver play button. And I was really specific, not 10,000 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. Less than 1% of the YouTubers on the planet on YouTube ever get that. Those that do are consistent. Now, that might mean you miss a month, but there are times in the years you upload videos that you have focus, determination, you're striving to learn, and you're asking questions that are beyond, how do I get more views? That alone is a big problem. But what really inspired me to make this video is you, your channel, and how does it make you feel? If you're feeling disappointed, jaded, like the algorithm is against you, I hope you'll just hang out for a few moments and let me just kind of share some thoughts because I, I wanna inspire you the best I can. I wanna inspire myself to take the next step. YouTube is hard. YouTube is really challenging, and yet we have these expectations that enter our brain and it really lead us to a place that isn't very helpful. Fact of the matter, so many big YouTubers had seasons where they were so focused and upload relentlessly, really focused on one specific audience, and over time they got there. And we might as well start right now. And what I mean by that is how do you think your channel's doing? Is it enough? Are you getting enough views? I am. Fact is, I want more, more success, more subscribers, and I know exactly what to do. It begins by asking better questions. If you're stuck with what, what about the algorithm or how do I get more views, sadly, you're not diving deep enough and you're not honoring the viewers. You're a viewer. And what's ironic is, on one hand, I refuse to pander and to tell you about some settings that can increase the views by four times to your channel. That does not exist, doesn't exist. There are no settings that can have a dramatic impact as in four times the views in a 28 day period, even though that's exactly what I just did. Why? I'm not focused or sharing information about YouTube settings, although maybe one day I will, but I keep coming back to what matters. And yet people tell me, oh my God, you keep talking about the same thing. Where else should I go? I, I don't wanna like just invent things to share with you because it'll be interesting. And yet I know that's the biggest audience. You see, my audience is comprised with a bunch of people that are kind of playing with the idea of starting a channel or they've uploaded a few videos and they're gonna see what happens horrible thing to do because fact of the matter is the likelihood you can publish a few videos and blow up because that's what people are kind of you know thinking i want to see what happens doesn't happen what does happen is you can decide it shall be you can stare down the face of fear as you kick down the door of opportunity announcing your arrival wherever life may take you and that begins by having a season where you're really focused on youtube where you're striving to connect with the viewers by honoring what they value do you value this lighting or is it okay if my bedroom is a mess and I film in there? Do you value the fact that I can stay on topic or that I'm uploading videos about Yellowstone, which I did back in the day. It's impossible to be perfect on YouTube. It's impossible for a creative person to always be really in alignment with one single focus niche, but it's also the easiest way to get views. How about the big idea? Before you publish a video, are you really clear on the big idea you wanna get across? Or maybe, like me, you're really leveraging this idea of working fast and working slow. 
which is so powerful. And that's how I created four times the channel views in a 28 day period. You should be watching out for that video. It'll be coming out soon. But I wanna go back to, is it enough? Are the views to your channel enough? And if not, what are you gonna do about it? See, the thing I don't want you to do, because I don't think it's gonna help you, and I really want success for you, is I don't think it's gonna help to beat yourself up. I don't think it's gonna help to like feel horrible about where you're at. In fact, of the matter is it's really easy for me to share this when I got one of these. Looking good. <laughs> And yet I did find peace with my own journey along the way. You know, months into my YouTube journey, maybe it was six or eight or nine months, I decided what I have right now is amazing. I'm grateful for the viewers and subscribers on my channel. And I wanna speak to you right now. I'm so grateful. I wanna encourage you to carry on, to be good with where you're at, the amount of views you have, to be grateful for those things. If you're a subscriber, I'm so grateful for you. And yet I'm excited to move forward and find the next level of my YouTube success story, whatever that may be. It might be behind me, but is it really? If I have hundreds of people on this channel commenting thank you and so on, isn't that enough? And I know you can get there too. One step at a time. It never happens where someone just tests the water. I'm going to see what happens. And they publish five videos and they blow up. That's kind of setting yourself up for disappointment, don't you think? If you think it's the YouTube algorithm's fault, well, then you're not accepting responsibility for your journey, where you're at and the things you want. I believe in you. I know you can make it happen, but it's gonna take effort. It's gonna take thought. You're gonna to have to strive to ask questions beyond how do I get more views? Questions like how do I dial in my lighting? I filmed a video twice in the last few days because I didn't like the lighting. This lighting right now, I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's good. I like the fact that this shot is symmetrical. I'm in one of the thirds, right? I like that this play button is blue or I can come over here and bam, now it's red. You know what I mean? That matters. I love the fact that I'm using a large softbox and I understand that using a large softbox rather than a smaller one will improve my lighting. I love the fact that I understand Kelvin temperatures, white balance, audience retention, CTR, and what really triggers it. You can't just hope for views. The fact of the matter is a lot of people do. The moment you decide it shall be, the moment you decide to take responsibility for your journey and you do the thing that all YouTubers have done to get one of these, and that is have a season of inspiration, to be inspired by what you're able to create, by being inspired to reach a little bit further and learn about the core fundamentals of being a great YouTuber, the moment you do that is gonna be really exciting because that's the moment where you'll move forward and you'll see the result. It always happens as long as you just stay on the path. What is so sad for me is I see so many YouTubers that are walking in the complete opposite direction because they're thinking, you know, well, there, there must be some setting that I'm missing. Nuh-uh. They're thinking, you know, YouTube algorithm hates small channels. And yet in the last month, thousands and thousands of small channels broke out. How could that be? It doesn't make any sense. But I understand what's happening. You see, it's a lot easier to blame an algorithm. It's a lot easier to blame YouTube. It's much harder to accept responsibility and say, I'm in control. This is my destiny. And if I want to grow an audience and make the money and do the brand deals and, you know, have coaching clients and speak on stages or whatever your dream looks like, well, then I've got to become a great content creator. You can do it. I do believe in you. I'm Brian G. Johnson. And you should subscribe and watch this video on the screen now. Do that and you'll get the tips, the tactics, the strategies, and more. You'll actually even feed a poodle.